Hello students. Today I'm going to do a read aloud of this book called Wings by Christopher Myers. Before I start, I want to let you know that tomorrow is Friday and it's the first week day of our spring break. So tomorrow I won't be doing a read aloud. Um, I might still post about the crawdads so you could check here and you could always watch our old read aloud videos or go on Google Classroom or any of that, even though it's spring break. Um, I'll still be talking to your parents a bit. And if you need anything or have any worries, you could still just send me a text or call me. Um, as we read this book, I want you to think a lot about the problem that you see in this book, about what is going wrong for our main character, this, um, this person named Icarus who you might notice has something a bit unusual. You might notice some buildings underneath. Hmm. The letter M, that's just because it's the level M. I'm going to be asking you to notice a lot of details as I'm reading. You might remember us talking a, a whole lot about that word details because it's been an important one this semester details. Think a little bit about what that word means. The details are kind of the small parts of a story or a picture that make it interesting and give you ideas about what's happening. While we're reading, I'm going to point out some details that I'm noticing. And I'd love for you to point out details. And when you write in your journal entry about what the problem is, and how they solved it, I want you to include details that showed you that was the problem. Okay? Wings by Christopher Myers. <clears throat> Look at that strange, I always get confused, I'm sorry. There we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that strange boy, everyone in the neighborhood is pointing fingers and watching the sky. How is he doing that? They stretch their necks and shake their heads. Icarus Jackson, a new boy on my block, is flying above the rooftops. He is swooping and diving, looping past people's windows and over the crowds. I don't think he's strange. So I notice one detail in the picture about what everyone's doing. Yeah, they're all pointing at him. Except for this person who's not, not pointing. And it says here, look at that strange boy. Everyone is pointing, except for her. Oh, so maybe that's the person telling our story. Hmm. Icarus Jackson, the fly boy, came to my school last Thursday. His long, strong, proud wings followed wherever he went. So it says he came to our school last Thursday. That's another detail. Like he's new there. Huh. So we have a detail that everyone is pointing except for our narrator. We have a detail that this other person is new. The whole school was staring eyes and wagging tongues. They whispered about his wings and his hair and his shoes. Like they whisper about how quiet I am. Hmm. We can notice details in the pictures and in the words. Our, te our teacher complained that the other kids couldn't help but gawk and stare. Our teacher said that Icarus's wings blocked the blackboard and made it hard for the students to pay attention. Hmm. The teacher told Icarus to leave class until he could figure out what to do with his wings. He left the room quietly, dragging his feathers behind him. One boy snickered. So here's a detail right here. He left the room quietly, dragging his feathers behind him. I want you to think to yourself, what does that detail show you about how he's feeling or what's happening in this story? 
Sorry. Sometimes I'm so bad at that. It's hard to show the picture well. At recess, the snicker grew into a giggle and spread across the playground. Soon, all the kids were laughing at Icarus's Jackson's useless wings. I thought that if he flew just once, everybody would stop laughing. Icarus looked up, flapped his wings a couple of times, and then jumped into the air. What made him jump into the air and fly? What detail did you notice? You could reverse the video if you don't remember what made him jump up. He swept through the schoolyard like a slow motion instant replay. But the other kids were not impressed. One girl grabbed the basketball. A boy stuffed the handball in his pocket. Somebody nagged. Nobody likes a show off. Their words sent Icarus drifting into the sky, away from the glaring eyes and the pointing fingers. I waited for them to point back at me as I watched Icarus float farther and farther away. Huh. Walking home from school, I knew how he felt, how lonely he must be. Hmm. I wonder what details from the book can show you why did she know how he felt? Why does she know what it's like to get teased? I know how he felt, how lonely he must be. Maybe I should have said something to those mean kids. I ran through the streets with my eyes to the sky, searching the clouds for Icarus. He struggled to stay in the air. His wings drooped and his head hung low. He landed heavily on the edge of a building and sat with the pigeons. Pigeons don't make fun of people. Hmm. And why did he, why was that a good spot? Why did he want to be here and not somewhere else? You can think of the details you heard in here and know the answer to that. A policeman passing by blew his whistle. Tweet, tweet. You with the wings, come down from there. Stay, stay yourself on the ground. You'll get in trouble. You'll get hurt. It seemed to me Icarus was already in trouble and hurt. Could the policeman put him in jail for flying? For being too different? Hmm. When the neighborhood kids saw the policeman yelling at him, they exploded with laughter. Icarus dropped to the ground. Stop, I cried. Leave him alone. And they did. So here they are laughing at him, pointing. You can think about how he's maybe feeling. This picture here, how he's maybe feeling on the inside. And then what happened when she used her words? When she spoke up about what she believed was right? Let's read that part back. Icarus dropped to the ground. Stop, I cried. Here she is using her words. Leave him alone. And they did. They did stop. Mm. Look at the way that she's fire on the inside. And he's fire on the outside. That's kind of cool. 
I called to Icarus and he sailed closer to me. I told him what someone should have told him long ago. Your flying is beautiful. So important for people to hear that, that they're good and they belong. For the first time, I saw Icarus smile. At that moment, I forgot about the kids who had laughed at him and me. I was just glad that Icarus had found his wings again. Look at that amazing boy, I called to all the people on the street as I passed, pointed to my new friend Icarus swirling through the sky. Here's our happy narrator. And here's our character Icarus. The end. And it says, let your spirit soar. Oh, I really like that book. I really like the art in it a lot. I think it's really beautiful. I would really be excited to read what you all thought about it. Please go to Google Classroom or look at the question in the comments of this video or on your grown-up cell phone. You can write it, your, your response by hand or you can type it on the computer, okay? There were so many details in that book and the details that helped make the story really interesting to read um, and it helped me understand who these characters were. Even though it wasn't that long of a story, it gave me extra information. I want you to think about what those details were. You could watch this video again as many times as you like, okay? Um, I'm going to miss making videos for you next week. I'm going to spend the time talking to your parents, searching for good new read aloud books because I need more and uh, walking my dog and hopefully doing a little gardening if it's not too rainy. I would love for you to write uh, and tell me what you're gonna spend your week off doing. Big hug, please stay safe. Please take care of each other and help your family however you can. Miss you.